Here is a 30 questions tag while I'm all dressed up still. All right. Um, I haven't pre-looked at these, so yeah. Number one, what do you think you can do but can't? Um, lose weight. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm really struggling to lose the last 20 pounds. Just not doing it. I know there's things I could change, but I'll get around to it. Maybe, maybe not. What's a difficult word for you to pronounce? I actually have two words that I really can't pronounce. So I'm going to make a fool out of myself trying to pronounce it. Um, rural, 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 rural. That's just an ugly word. I just can't say that fucking word. And, um, Chernobyl, 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 I don't know, oh, I just, I see the word in my head and I try to read it how it's spelt, I think, and I can't fucking get it, those are my two words, I just, I can't fucking, I can't say, no matter how hard I try, um, what are your, oh wait, what is a favorite TV show from your childhood? When I was a kid, I was like hooked on the Incredible Hulk. I watched it all the time. I used to be on my big wheel outside playing, um, and my mom would come to the door and she'd yell, "Diana, Incredible Hulk, son!" And I'd run, "Oh, Incredible Hulk!" and watch it all night. Number four, what are your virtues and vices? <clears throat> so, like, what are my good points and my bad points? I guess um, my my good points are. I'm a really caring and open person. I am very honest and I could be a really good person. When I say something, I mean it. If I'm gushing over you, like, oh my God, you're so amazing. You're so cool. Like, it means so much to me that you've done this. And that. like, I mean every word of it. And I sometimes don't have the words to express how, how much I actually care about people or things or gratitude or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but I mean every word of it. Uh, a negative thing is, um, I, I can be very negative and I get bitchy a lot. Like things that other people just let slide right off. Like, oh, this person online doesn't like you or they misunderstood what you said. Oh, well, let it go. And I'm just like, but I can't because they, they have it wrong. Like I need to correct them. And, and that just causes a lot of trouble because people don't like to be told that they're wrong and they don't want to know anything other than what they think they know. And it causes me a lot of personal grief when I try to straighten things out. Um, what's more important, love, fame, power, or money? I would say love because I, fame can be bad. Like I'm slightly internet famous, not, not very much. I don't do anything. I have no reason for people to know who I am, but they do. And I've had people following me for over 10 years. And with that comes a lot of bad shit. People know everything about my life. They know everything I've ever done, pictures of everything screenshots of everything, everything's out there. And whereas if, if somebody doesn't know you, they can't use anything against you because you're like a nobody. I don't really care about power. You can have power with fame and with money and you can kind of have it with love as well. Money is really nice. Money would be a close second, but money comes and goes and love. Once you find that one person that you love, you know, chances of you finding another love just like that are nil. So like love is is the hardest, most rare, and if you have it, you should hold on to it and never let it go. Six, if you could live in any era, time period, when would it be and why? Man, I go back to the 80s or 90s. I really loved 80s music. I loved fashions in a way. I loved how things were simpler. Like, I mean, I love being able to use the computer, sit here, make videos, high quality stuff, be able to find any song I want, things from my childhood, movies, cartoons, books online. I mean, the internet is an amazing tool, but it brings about a lot of pain, a lot of ignorance. It makes people lazy. I, I miss the days before the electronic age when people had to, artists had to sing. They actually had to use their talent instead of auto-tune and people weren't able to spy on each other and cause harm to others. And it's just... I just want to go back to simpler times, but when things are still modern enough, because if I went back way, way back, I'd probably get burned as a witch or something. If you had to redo your entire wardrobe with two stores, what would they be and why? 
not any real life stores because nothing real life exists, but I quite like, uh, I forgot what they're called. Um, oh my God, I forgot what they're called. Uh, there's one, let me see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Oh, Restyle. So I got a Restyle and probably Red Queen's Black Legion because I don't know if that's a store or just a brand, but um, Restyle has just amazing everything. I've yet to buy anything from them. Can't afford it, but I love looking at their stuff. And um, Red Queen's Black Legion, that's where I got my skull bag from. And they have some amazing pieces of like clothing and purses and all that other good stuff. And it's just, oh, it was, I just love looking at it. Can you recall what you were doing a year ago on this day? Not on this exact day. Now this day has no significance to me. Nine, do you have recurring dreams? If so, explain. I actually do. I, it used to be about drowning, but it was always, I was in a car, I was driving, I lose control. It's like, like a Florida or Georgia road next to swamps, muddy. It's always a muddy swamp and I'm driving, I lose control and the car goes into the water and it's just sinking and I can hear like the muted sounds of the water around me. I can see the bubbles and the murky green and the car's going down and I can't get out and I know I'm going to die. Every dream was like that. Now, or, or then after that, it was dreams about this hotel. It was always this old hotel, really musty, dusty, and there's ghosts there and like, I know I'm going to die. <laughs> and then there's dreams about, um, I always own a big house. Like the house I'm in is bigger than I thought it was. And there's all these rooms, it's like circular and rooms upon rooms and hidden, hidden areas and closets. And that's always awesome. I, I have a lot of dreams and this is recent and not so recent as well of my ex-husband. I don't think about him. I don't know why I dream about him. Uh, maybe it's fear what I went through with him. Maybe I'm scared to go through that with Logan because things are so good with him. I don't want to go through anything like that again. And so I, I'll dream about him cheating on me. Like it'll be me and Logan and then he'll leave me for somebody else or he'll cheat on me or he'll tell me he doesn't love me anymore. And then at that point he turns into my ex, um, my second husband. And it's like, Ooh, and then I wake up and usually he's at work and I'm like, Oh, where's Logan? I'm so sad. And I, I get all clingy for the the rest of the day, like, where are you? You left me for this girl, or you said you didn't love me anymore. What am I gonna do? Yeah. What's your horoscope? Uh, like my daily horoscope? I don't know. My sign? I'm a Virgo. What does your dream bedroom look like? <sighs> White carpet, big black canopy bed with black curtains, lights on the inside mirrors on the walls, lights, glow in the dark, stars everywhere, just black, white, glow in the dark, and lights. Um, what position do you sleep in? I sleep on one side or the other with a body pillow behind me, a body pillow in front of me, and like two big pillows under my head. And when I flip, instead of taking my pillows with me, I have a pillow on each side. Uh, 13. Who is your favorite vampire of all time? I don't know. The hottest one is Lestat from Queen of the Damned. Like, he just looked really good in that role. Like, whew, you know, but, um, I don't know. Other than that, really. What are you currently wearing on your feet? Nothing. <laughs> oh, 15. Do you have neat handwriting? Show us. <laughs> I don't at all have neat handwriting. I conveniently have a pen right here because during a little shopping list. So... What am I supposed to write? I'll write, I love Logan. Mm. I love Logan. <laughs> That's my handwriting. So it's not very neat. 
Um, how did you get your YouTube username? Uh, when I was with my ex, uh, one of my exes, the one that got me into goth, um, he loved this band called Cranes. And one of the first songs that caught my attention was a song called Star Blood. And I was like, oh my God, I love stars and I love blood. And I love Cranes and I love this song. So I'm going to be Star Blood. And I just started using Star Blood. It was, it's always taken with the zeros or with the O's. And so I had to start using it with zeros. And when I first made my first YouTube, I did a zero and an O, like S T A R B L zero O D. So it was kind of zero O D. But um, then I just started using zeros. If you could change your name to anything, what would it be and why? I've already changed my name from Diana to Raven. My name was Diana Dawn, and I dropped the Dawn because my mom told me that my dad, my real dad, didn't care about me, didn't want a daughter. And when she had me, she was like, you can give her her middle name. And he's like, I don't care. And he just named me Dawn after your next girlfriend. So that's a story I've grown up with. And don't know if it's true because it's actually come out that my mom's crazy and she's a liar and she's lied about half the shit that I thought about my dad. But since he won't talk to me, there's no way I'll ever know. But I was like, well, he doesn't care about me. He wants nothing to do with me. He's not in my life. So I don't want anything to do with him. So I got rid of the name, moved my first name to my middle name because I didn't want to hurt my mom by getting rid of that. And I made Raven my legal first name because people have been calling me Raven for so long that it was like my name. It's what everybody has always called me. And I just, I don't know, it feels weird to be called anything else. If I could choose my own name, I would probably have chosen Luna because I just think it's a beautiful name and I really like it. Luna or Amaris or something like, I just, I really love Luna though. I was thinking about adding it to like my middle name or something like somewhere just so I could have it, but it wouldn't make a difference because nobody uses my middle name. So if you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be and why? It would probably just be to exercise, get addicted to exercise, get hooked on moving. And, you know, maybe by this point in my life, I wouldn't have had to go through what I went through and gained all this weight. I've never liked to exercise. I've always had a hard time, always hated it. And so it's just been a struggle for me my entire life, just being real unfit and just ugh, I can't be fucked. And if I had just told myself to kind of get on track with it, I might have turned out differently. And also I probably would say, don't let your ex-husband tattoo you because I'm stuck now with things that need to be covered up. Uh, that I let him do to me that were shit to start with. How old were you when you first learned to blow a bubblegum bubble? I don't honestly remember. I know I can't blow them anymore because my tongue rings or tongue ring. Huh? Um, what did you want to be when you were little? I wanted to be She-Ra, Princess of Power. And if I couldn't be her, I wanted to be a mermaid. And if I couldn't be a mermaid, I wanted to be a princess. And if I couldn't be a princess, then I wanted to be a ballerina. What do you order at Starbucks? I don't go to Starbucks, but I, I'm addicted to like iced coffees. What's the hardest you ever laughed? There's a few times when I've laughed so hard that I've actually pissed myself because after having Dorian, I have a bit of a weak bladder. Sometimes if I sneeze too hard or laugh too hard, but, uh, there's been a couple of times. The most recent probably was, um, we had this big box in the living room and Logan crawled in it for some reason. This was at the first place we lived in together because this is the third place. And, um, I was sitting down and I was like pushing the box and having it lean towards me. And so I was holding it up with my feet. So the box is like this and I was going like this and I was just kicking it and then I kicked it too hard and it fell over and I just see all I saw was his head sticking out of it and it was like going like this and then just hunk and his head just kind of bounced on the floor and I just see this poof of hair and he couldn't get out of it because he was in the with his knees up and so he's like rocking and shaking the box trying to like roll or crawl out of it so I just see this big box on its side with this poof of hair and the box is shaking violently side to side as he's trying to get out of it and so oh my god that was so funny 
If you could play any musical instrument, which would it be and why? I would probably play the bass because I like the bass. I don't know. What's your favorite thing to do when you're upset? Make YouTube videos. That is my make YouTube videos or make statuses online, but a video is better because I could just talk and talk and then I feel so much better. Mm, what's your favorite movie? I have many favorite movies. I hate this question as if it could be narrowed down to one, but uh, Labyrinth is a big favorite. Donnie Darko is a big favorite. The Notebook. I don't really have anything unique that's favorite. What's one food you cannot live without? I don't know if it's well, pizza maybe? Cheese. I can't live without cheese. I love cheese. Any kind of cheese pretty much. What's your favorite dessert? Pretzels? Pumpkin pie? Mm, pumpkin pie. Uh, favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni. Would you rather have the superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible? I'd totally be invisible so I could just go around and like rob banks all day long. <laughs> Reading minds would only cause pain because you would see things that you don't want to see. Inevitably. What did you do for your last birthday? Didn't really have a birthday. We're, we were broke. Haven't gotten to do anything for birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day. Didn't get any of that. We had an anniversary though. If you had one personal selfish wish, what would it be and why? That when I die, Logan never finds love again. <laughs> That's a fucked up wish. But I, he and I both agree, like, if he were to die, he would not want me to remarry or be with anybody. He's already told me, I don't want you to move on. And he said, and I agree, like, the couples that say, when I die, I just want you to be happy. Go out there, find love again. I'm like, how would you want the person you're with to be with somebody else and share things with somebody else that they shared with you? I'd be like... No, never find anybody else, because if you do, I'll come back and haunt you and kill her or him, you know? And Logan's like, yeah, fuck that. I'm not going to die and have you with anybody else. I'll fucking come back and kill you too or something. And so we have a big laugh about it, that we're both actually the same way that's concerned, which is awesome. What does O-M-G-H-H-K-P mean to you? Um, it means a bunch of fucking nonsense. Is that actually a thing? I have no clue. That's the last question, actually. It was more than 30. That was 32. Uh, uh, yeah, so that was fun. I have some more on my list. I don't know when I'm going to read them, but uh, I'll see you guys next time. Be uploading these sporadically so, you know, you don't get too bored of my nonsense. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.